Okay, here we go. Gorister. Nice to find you, buddy. Nice, I got him super... Oh my god, he's Christ. got a heart! This is like the dreams I've had of splattering my brains all over Am's deck plates. Have I finally gone insane? Well, gee, a giant coyote robot started talking to me, and a Russian told me that I would be transformed into a virus to be sent into a stone pillar that is actually a computer that wiped out the rest of humanity and started and has been torturing me and five other people, including a woman who's afraid of rape, a, a former Nazi, well, a reformed Nazi, a con man, a ape man, and myself with my own broken heart. Jesus. Jesus, Gorister. It's so nice to hear your patois again. So let's see. I like how he has the heart instead of, uh... What did, it, what did Ellen have? She had valor. What is this? Life. Summoning. Clarity. Entropy. Forgiveness. Compassion. So, it would seem that we... Oh my god. You know what? I can't... Benny. What would Benny's item be? Would it be the bag or the fruit? I can't imagine. Please. Even when I beat this game, I at least have to go back and see what each of their individual items would be. Because if it, if Benny's item is not the bag or the fruit, I will cancel this project. I will shut down my YouTube channel. I will kill myself and burn down my house. In my dreams. Um, let's have a look-see at the pit. It would be suicide to try to climb down this cliff. Oh my god, Gorster, I love you. I'm gonna save this as... Gorster's suicide. Let's go. I love how happy he is. I got him damn close. I got him really damn close to the perfect ending. The only thing that I messed up with with Gorister was either uh, getting the key, the bloody key from the animals, or playing that stupid jukebox too many times. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't get you all the way to white. God damn it. Uh, look at the workstation. Looks like some kind of engine analyzer that's gone moldy. Oof. Your pants are pretty moldy there, uh, Gorister. I'm pretty sure they used to be blue. Enter password. Okay, who's gonna have the magical password? Random numbers. Well, everybody's got them. Uh, type 20. The number of years you spent on the road as a truck driver. Fascinating. Uh, 2006, the year that Glynis left you and moved back with Glenda. I will say 2006. Invalid password. Access denied. Well, you gotta try. Oh! Look how surprised he is, like, you shocked me right in my dick. Ugh. Try that again. Password. Access denied. Still interesting choices. Love the music. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's head it this way. I love hearing your commentary, Gorister. This is just the best. That face. There's something about it that reminds me of when Edna was trying to sweet-talk me into taking her down off the meat hook. That is actually a very interesting... Boo! So, Ellen is reminded of the yellow, the pyramid, a.k.a. her rapist, and, uh, Gorister is now reminded of the serpent Edna. Interesting. So this is Am's very id. This is the core of Am, if you will. This is not his ego, this is the id. Well, actually, you know, I can't remember all of the, like, what the ego, the id, and the super ego are. It's just, I'm pretty sure the id is the core. It's sleeping. So please forgive me if I have, uh, ooh, use a life on it. Yes. Bzzz. Nothing happened. Ooh, that's interesting. They gave him his own little animation for the summoning, or the, uh, the, the magical effect. Whereas, uh, Ellen's was more of a bzzz. I don't like the look of these thorns sticking out of the ground. Uh, me neither. Actually, that would, of all the things you could see here, I'd actually have to agree that that is probably one of the, uh, most... Most interesting things. Looks like one of those projectors they used to have at the Holoplex. Oh man, the good old days of necking with Glynis at the Holoplex. Benny? Ah. My, Miana. Mana. Yeah, Mana, how you doing? This isn't real. She's some kind of projection. I don't care. I haven't been with a woman in 125 years. Look at her. This woman isn't real. Er, talk to her. Sorry. Same difference. Hey. Can you hear me? Benny, they said you were missing in action, but I knew you'd return to us. What the hell would Benny say? Saving this for you. What would Benny say? 
Look at the pillar. There's a power control under the thorns. Uh. Clarity, entropy, compassion. Compassion? I don't know what to do with these. Hmm. Wait, use life with Miana Mana. I don't know what. I don't know. I love how he's standing right in front of her and saying that. I don't know what to do. Okay, we're gonna have a little fun time with the, the next one. cold here, like the freezer back at the honky tonk. I love how he said that. The honky tonk. Now I don't know much about no keyboards, but I know how to type my name. Uh, open cylinder three. Poor favor. For programming. Oh my God, that's Glennis. She's finally come with a <laughs> manservant programming. She looks just like Glennis. Maybe the people I met in the honky-tonk weren't real either. Ah, so maybe Am has been constructing these robots in his brain has and has been programming them from the knowledge gathered from Gorster and the rest of humanity. Talk to her. Glennis, talk to me, honey. You don't ever take me dancing. Damn, nobody wants to take this woman dancing. Bzzz. Hey! Um... You know, Gorister, it wasn't all your fault. We both made mistakes. Uh... Uh... That panel's not there. Wait, wait, what, what, wait, what? Wait! Um... Wait a minute. I'll be damned. Glennis lowered the power intensity for me. Well, I'll be... She's forgiven me, too. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Ellen... Glennis... Glennis pushed the thing when it wasn't even re... What the... Looks like a big oil drum. It's got... Some kind of identification system? It's got one hell of a crude oil in it. Oh, my goodness. Uh... Automaton. I gave her life. What did she want from me? Okay, fine. Um... Let's go down the neutral path, because this place is fucked. Look at the horns on that thing. I could have used those when I butted heads with Edna. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. still bitter about Edna butting, eh? I see how it is. Let's take a, uh, take a look at her. Hey, Ego. He's sleeping. Okay, nothing doing over there. Still no pathways over there. Well, that's fascinating. We've already used the life. Now, what would we be doing? What kind of game is Am playing here? I don't know if he's playing a game. I think this is just how he is, like, inside. I don't think this is, like, a final game. I just think this is us fucking around in Ed, uh, Am's head. Death. This place smells like death. I've smelled it a thousand times during the past 109 years. God damn, I need a shower. Okay, let's see if we have the same gem underneath this, uh... Do we? That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. It still seemed to hurt us a lot. Okay. I'm quite confused on how... Is that an angel? I haven't died, have I? Now, wait a minute. Here's a question. Am I actually supposed to be completing these with every character? Or do I progress a little bit with one character, progress a little bit, let them die, and then let the next one rise up? Volcanic rocks. Does Am expect me to grab one and try to kill myself again? <laughs> yes, that is exactly what he's expecting for you to do. Hmm. Take a look at it. This damn rock has the same ozone smell as the power nodes back in the Zeppelin. Yeah, don't want to be using these. Summoning? I don't know what... Hmm. Clarity, entropy, compassion. I don't imagine that any of these would be, uh... Hmm. Well, shit. Are we... Hold on. Hmm. This is actually very confusing. Is there... Is there one certain character that I have to be using to finish the game? Because... I'm not seeing anything, like, particularly groundbreaking with this area. The, if one of these guys would just... Wait a minute. 
Oh, never mind. I thought there was another neutral path back there that I missed. If one of these guys, one of the brain cores, would just wake up, that'd be great. Um. I don't know what to. Do. Hmm. Push the pillar. No, bad. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. Very bad. There's a pop. Hmm. Well, this one's off. I'll be damned. I guess she's forgiven me too. Is the goal of this to get all of the power nodes off? Use the pillar. No. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. Okay. Well, I think sadly Gorister's going to die here. However, uh, thank you, neutral path. When he dies, I'm just... Because it's pretty obvious that he's going to die. Hold on. Can I use... Can I push this thing? I think I need to wake these up. Wait. I can push the ego. Not such a big man now, are you? Hey, wake up. Oh my god. That, sleeping. that would scare the hell out of me if that thing woke up because I pushed it. I don't know what... Oh, come on. It's a demon. Summon it, buddy. Nothing happened. It, they must have to be awake to be affected by it. Hmm. But the thing is... You know what? Actually... No, that wouldn't make any sense. I was gonna say that I have... I think I have... This book here must be from Nimdok's thing. That must be like the list... Of, or like the book of uh, interned people or something. Um... Because everything else is from one of their... <sighs> no, wait a minute. We've got Ted. Oh, that's from Nimdok. This one, this book is from Gorister's. But I don't remember a book being in Gorister's. So we've got Ted, Nimdok, uh, Ellen, Benny. Okay. Clarity, Entropy, Compassion, Forgiveness. So we have one of everything from each character. And I'm wondering if, like, we use one of these, one of each of these, to get past the nodes, you know? Like, maybe for Ellen's thing, we're supposed to be using uh, Entropy on the Lava Pillar. And then the Lava Pillar will lower the power or do something. That's the only thing that I can think of. Here, use Entropy, please, with the Pillar. I don't know what to do with these. That would make way too much sense, wouldn't it? I don't know what... Hmm... I don't know what... No, this is all bad, bad, bad. <sighs> I just, I have no idea. I have zero. But we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep trying and progressing with this. We're gonna get through this, Looks damn it. Like even if I have to go through every single character. But I'm sorry, Gorister. Random numbers. Bzzz. And away he goes. After so Your companion has failed. Choose oh, I didn't, uh... Damn it, I didn't see what they said about him. Hold on. I'm gonna do this really quick. I've been trapped, but it look Okay. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just want to see... I just want to see if Gorister's thing is all, like, fixed, or if we have to reuse Ellen, okay? And then once we do that, I just really quickly want to kill Gorister. I know it's really bad, I shouldn't be saying this, but I just want to kill Gorister so I can hear what those uh, robots were saying. Something like, blah blah blah, suicide, blah blah blah. Graphic projector. You taking me to the movies, Aeon, honey? Hello. Hello, hello! This... Look at the pillar. Well, I guess I'm not the only one with technical know-how. One of the men must have figured out how to lower the power running through this node. Now, this is interesting. Very interesting. So, Gorister's effects actually... Again. They carry over. Okay, I've got it. So now. But... 
that doesn't make any sense then. So I would have to kill every... Statues again. Hang on a second. I would have to kill almost every single one of them and leave one of them alive to finish off Am. That is... Something about this... That is so dark, I don't even want to contemplate it. That's... Wow. Could that be an angel? Is that the game's way of saying you have to go through each of these characters to uh, use their dialogue trees? We put in this dialogue and damn it, you're going to use it? Is that what they're doing? Steady girl. Because that sure as hell is what it seems like. Sweet Jesus. I felt my mind push aside the fear and the heat to lower the power controls. Look at the pillar. The power intensity is set to low. So now, hold on, I'm going to save the game. And it's funny that the robots would say Gorister's Suicide because I'm going back... You know what, that's a weird save! I saved it as Gorister's Suicide because he said, Oh, you know, falling down this pit would cause a suicide. And now I'm going back to load the save to kill him to hear what they said about him having a suicide. What the hell's going on here? Am I psychic? Have I been hanging around Am too much? Uh, hold on, I'm gonna... Ellen? Question mark? Load. Yes. Okay, use this, please. Are we supposed to be using the characters in a certain order? And yes, I know, I'm, I'm going to kill him right now, I'm sorry. Keep going. I think this is the last one. No, last one. I think? Random numbers! Random for the end! Oh, jeez, Ted. You, er, sorry, Gorster. You can take some punishment. There we go. What do they say? After so many failed suicide attempts, Gorister has finally achieved death. Your companion has... Interesting. So they had a lot of compassion for Ellen. You know, they're like, Oh, well, Ellen, Ellen is in a place where they can't hurt her or whatever. Okay, so we now know that whatever they have done has an effect on the other characters. This is really, really cool. So, I'm going to pause the recording, and we're just really quickly, we're going to examine Benny, see what we can do with Benny and what we can't do. Same with Ted and Nimdok, and then we'll just go from there, I guess? I don't know, I'm enjoying seeing these characters again, so I don't really care, or mind, or whatever. This is all very fascinating to me. This is the final area. Maybe they would want me to utilize everybody. They wouldn't want to have just one solid savior. That's so cool.